Hello and welcome back to Film Resolve, the channel where you can learn filmmaking techniques and how to pull them all together in DaVinci Resolve. Today I'm going to teach you how to export your video with an alpha channel so that you can preserve transparency. Feel free to have a look in the description for timestamps and see if there's any sections that you're already comfortable with so you can skip them and save yourself a little bit of time. The best way that you can support the channel and give back a little is to give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe and a notification bell but with that out of the way let's jump into it. So in today's example I've just pulled in a default fusion title called clean and simple and I've put that on top of a clip. In an attempt to make this completely beginner friendly the first really important thing you're going to want to do is confirm that there is indeed an alpha or transparency to export in the first place because if I delete this clip below which we'll have to do to make sure it's only the overlay that gets exported you can see it just shows up on a black background and if you can imagine having a much busier timeline if you don't zoom in far enough you mightn't see that there perhaps there is actually a black solid below or a colored solid below your overlay and you don't want that you want to make sure it is actually transparency that you're looking at so step one is to confirm your transparency before moving forward and now we'll move into the deliver tab where the real magic happens because all the settings are done within the deliver tab so we'll just click on there and we will start looking at that so obviously you want to choose a location and give it a reasonable name and then we'll move on to the settings so the name of the game here is to access a codec that has the ability or the compatibility to export an alpha channel and the codec that i go for is a dnx hr codec from avid and to access that you want to first change your format which is your container or your wrapper so dnx hr is available in the two flavors of MXF as well as QuickTime. I personally prefer QuickTime because it's just a little bit more compatible out in the real world, personally in my experience. Then for codec, you'll want to come to DNX HR. And then you want to make sure you choose a type of this codec, which level of compression uh, to make sure you can access the alpha. So basically HQX 12 bit or above, so 444 10 bit, and 444 12 bit will all allow you to access this right here export alpha button if i go below it disappears now the next thing we need to talk about is the alpha mode as you can see it's by default and unaccessible to change it's set to pre-multiplied which in our case is actually fine pre-multiplied is what we want however if you want to access the straight alpha mode and not the pre-multiplied, you want to come up to this render bar here and go from single clip and switch this to individual clip. And now that opens up the alpha mode to be changed to straight. So I'll go back to single clip and that being grayed out is not going to bother us. And then from there on in, it's the same old render settings as per usual, whatever it is that you require, you can just go with that. And it's just add to the render queue and you can go ahead and just render that out and that will render the transparency on the alpha channel for you to be dragged and dropped in later on which we'll show in a moment and i'm also going to render a version we'll call that number two i'm going to render a version without the alpha channel so we can see the effect of if you don't do the settings correctly and you don't render the alpha channel what the repercussion is so now that we're back in the edit page, you can see that I've duplicated out our sample footage twice, our clip six, and over version two, I've put our render that does have the alpha track, and over version three, I've put the render that does not have the alpha track. So our baseline is internal with the fusion composition. We have the transparency as we would expect. Then as we move on to the second version where I've dragged back in our rendered version with the alpha track you can see we have the same result but when i don't import the alpha track we have a black background transparency transforms as plain black when we do not have the alpha track so that's why it's really important to get these settings right so that it does preserve the transparency as we desire 
I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Did I miss something that should have been covered in this tutorial? Leave a comment below so I know to cover it in a future episode. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. My name is Lee Dalton, this is Film Resolved. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.